lightweight title fight. Our man Dustin Poirier's got one more to you to to use your quote one more mountain to climb for the ultimate view. He's in there tough with Charles Oliveira this Saturday night from Vegas. Oh, I'm nervous just even thinking about it. Um, what are you looking for there, and what uh, what's Dustin have to do to get the win here? That's that's a really interesting matchup um, because they're, I think it's like looking in a mirror sometimes. <laughs> These guys are very similar. They're both tremendous on the mat. I mean, uh, Oliveira has the most submissions in the history of the UFC. I believe it's like 14 of them, something like that. <laughs> and <laughs> it's not by accident. <laughs> it's because he's a brilliant jiu-jitsu, Brazilian jiu-jitsu expert. And Dustin's damn good on the, on the mat because he's a terrific wrestler and also has an advanced black belt in jiu-jitsu too. But that if, that edge would have to go to, I would say, would have to go to Oliveira a little bit. Although Dustin, again, handles himself very well on the floor, on the mat, and maybe even a little better with the grappling and the wrestling. So very close there and then striking very close with Dustin in my estimation maybe a little edge but very close uh both guys good finishes I think Dustin's maybe the best finisher right now in the UFC when he gets you hurt he, he's Joe Lewis he gets you out of there he's Jack Dempsey he gets you out of there he's Mike Tyson he gets you out of there those are great finishes uh Oliver looked like a damn good finisher against Chandler and He's a good finisher. And he's, Oliveira has great instincts. I talk about the great Crawford, my number one pick, pound for pound. I, I like him a lot. Um, great instincts. You know, he makes things up as he does it if he has to, to win. I saw the capacity of doing that, the ability to do that. With Oliveira, when he beat Chandler, he gets dropped, he gets hurt, he's on the floor, on the mat, Ken. And what's he do? Instinctively, he keeps moving his head. And he made Chandler miss like five punches. Yep. That would have probably took him out. Probably would have ended the fight. And, it, and it'd be Chandler now fighting Poirier <laughs> instead of him. So he's got those instincts. He's got They got it, the intangibles. They have all that stuff. I think the X factor, I think the X factor, it's something you touched on too, but I, I had been thinking about this. Um, and something you touched on that you you sent me a text about it, but and I agree with you. It's the mental part. It, for me, listen, you've heard me talk, you've always heard me say 75% of my business, this business, fighting business, is mental. How strong are you mentally? How developed are you mentally? Do you have the capacity to go into a dark room that you've never been in before and find the light switch? Do you? Do you? You don't just get that. That gets developed. You find that. Poirier, I think, found that along the way in the tough fights that he was in when he found out the most important thing I think he found out in the wins over McGregor was that, that he could depend on himself. He could trust himself. He could rely on himself in those dark rooms. That's so invaluable. Oh, my God. Ken, that's so invaluable. You can't put a you can't put a number on it how important it is. You really can't to quantify it properly. And I think Oliveira has found the same thing with winning the title, surviving the Chandler fight, and then winning. I think he's found out too that he can go in a dark room and he can put a light on when it lo when other people can't. So that is very 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 close, and that's where I look to make my pick. And as close as it is, I give an edge in that area. I give an edge in that area to Poirier, as you do. But I give an edge for my reason because I think he might have the incentive. They both have great motivation, incentive. But... The incentive to continue to put that light on in that dark room, they both have it. I think maybe Poirier does a little more because of that quote that you just quoted me that I had sent to Poirier. One more hill to climb for a lifetime view where 
he he won he won the the, the what do you call it title um, interim the interim but this is for the this is for the big ball of wax this is for the big baby the world title and he doesn't want to leave till he's a world champ and I don't think he's going to leave that ring without putting a light on in a room that says world champion in that room. I, I don't think I, I don't think he'll leave to now the other guy Oliveira, great, tremendous, but he's gotten that already. He already put that light on. He already did that. It makes a little difference, and that's all I'm looking for in a fight like this to make a pick, just a little, little, little edge. And I find that edge to Poirier. And the other thing is. Both guys similar in striking where they don't waste anything. They're always balanced. They're always in position when they throw their punches and all those things. But I see something I found looking at their records today that Rob was good enough to send to me. You know, he's he's our man. We're a good team. We are. And we help each other. And he sent me the records. And I'm looking at the records. I'm looking for something that jumps out to me. I don't know what it is until I look. And then all of a sudden, there it is. It jumps out to me. One, and you've talked about this, Ken. One of the great strengths, and there's a lot of them, of Poirier, is he's damn good at the guillotine. <laughs> he's good at the guillotine. He, he's, he's obviously confident with it. He's well-versed at it. He knows he can guillotine a guy, submit a guy, get a guy out if you give him that chance. He came close to doing it to maybe the greatest of all time, Khabib. Yep. Close. I know close don't count except horseshoes and hand grenades. I get it. But uh, he was doing it with a special guy. And then I look at it, and there it is. Oliveira has been submitted twice with the guillotine. <laughs> as soon as I saw that, I said, oh, that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. So with all of that said, I think it's going to be a great fight. Uh, I think it's going to be really, really interesting. I think it's going to be as much as fireworks are going to be there, as I just described, and danger. I think that there's going to be a little bit of chess because these guys are so similar, so similar, and so good at what they freaking do. So at the end of the day, I'm going with our buddy, with our friend, Poirier, to get what he's been looking to get for a long time, a world title and a view for eternity. Yeah, the line on that fight right now is almost even. I got minus, my, uh, Dustin, slight favorite, minus 165, Charles Oliveira, plus 135. Um, with the over-under, one and a half rounds, plus 150 to go under one and a half, minus one eighty, over one and a half. So hey, looks like that they they think there's a chance this thing ends quickly with that line. I would have thought it would have been much heavier towards the over, but uh, yeah, I I'm with you. I think that Dustin has a mental edge on on Charles. Not a knock against Charles. I just think he's in there with one of the mentally toughest guys in the sport. So man, I hope he I hope Dustin wins. I hate to root against anyone, but Dustin's our friend, and uh we'll definitely be supporting him here. So good luck, Dustin. Let's go. Um, go get him. Go get him, buddy. Yeah, for and, sure. And when you say mentally toughest, there's certain names that come to mind. They just come to mind. Volkanowski, guy oh, yeah. that we had on our yep, app. Yep, yep. I mean, uh, how could he not come to mind? <laughs> how could he not come to mind? Yep. I mean, how could he not come to mind? <laughs> the guy's crazy. I mean, uh, crazy in a way, uh, you know, that you love him. You love him. And Max Holloway. Because he could teach one. us. Yep. He could teach us all. He could teach us all to be crazy <laughs> in, a, in that kind of way. Yep. To, to, to never give up. To never give up. To never give up. Yep. But um, Max Holloway. Oh, oh, oh. But, uh, oh, but there's, there's a few of them. Yep. There's a few of them. 